Zero League Mai Sin Yeah, never say die, got to go, go Welcome everybody. It is time for the bronze place match in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Season 1 Dynasty Series. The subscribers going at it will be Fyrus on Tanya fighting for third place and Kiryu on uh, Titan. It is Titan versus Tanya. Two of the seven Shadow Riders both made it to semis, both made it to the bronze place match, and only one of them will prove to be the best of the Shadow Riders. Which Shadow Rider technically had the best deck in Season 1? I'm a little surprised not to see Camula up here. I'm not surprised to see um, Tanya up here. But honestly, it's a little bit weird seeing Titan up here. Titan is not the best. All right, 1,800 damage. Let's see what we got. And Infernal Queen is pretty good. You can keep her at 1,900, making sure this monster... Oh, my God. <laughs> and steals the opponent's note. Magic Jammer is really clutch. Magic Jammer was really clutch, making it so you ain't stealing shit. But she is stronger than you, unless you summon another Amazonist monster simply to trade. So let's see if you're willing to trade. Oh, I'd be willing. I'd be willing to crash and burn. Let's do it. 1900. And 1800. That's really nice. And now let's see what they end up doing. We have Amazonist Tiger having two 1900 beaters. Even Desru Garchfiend can't hold that back. And this monster is a Terror King. Oh no! Losing a Terror King is a sad sight, but what are you going to do? And Desruk Archfiend can bring it back in attack mode, saving the day. Good combo from Titan. Honestly amazing. I really, really respect that. Screw the 800 burn. You can kill the Tiger. Even unless this is what I think it is, but ignore that. Hopefully it's not. Please don't be. We've seen the archers screw so many opponents over. If it's archers, the duel is over. If it's not, then this titan person still has a chance in game one. Although summoning you in attack mode was very weird. It's archers, everybody! It looks like the Terror King and Vilepawn are dead. Yeah, summoning Vilepawn was a little weird, but it was a lose-lose situation. Honestly, I just love it. Oh my god, this is just great. You have to attack, Titan. You have to attack. Alright, they may not know that. I'm going to let them know in chat. There we go, they figured it out. Didn't even need to type. They know what they're doing. Oh man. And let's see what we got here. It's time. Oh, God. Dual runners in the background. Nothing I can do. But what we can do is watch as Tanya takes game one. Is she truly the strongest of the seven Shadow Riders? Or will Titan have a comeback? We shall see. Alright, just a bunch of sets, send and end. Very nice, very good start from Tanya. Two back row, three back row card is terrifying, especially since this one's MST. Bet you. Pandemonium, that card you don't want to MST until your opponent's standby phase. Or may, uh, draw phase, actually. You can wait till end phase, actually, you don't have to. Yeah, no, just don't do it during their turn. That's all I'm trying to say. Alright. And we have Amazonist Tiger with Amazonist Blowpiper. Here we go. Amazonist Tiger is going to attack. And goodbye, Dark Bishop Archfiend. What a shame. One of the weakest Archfiend cards in this game. But you know what? They still have a use. And MST randomly hits this MST. Was it MST? Oh, this was magic. Really? That was a, it's that, That's Archers. I don't care what anybody says. This is Archers. 
hundred percent. Hundred percent. I'm not even joking. Now, if they have falling down, though, they should feel pretty safe. Falling down is a pretty safe card if you could summon a face-up Archfiend monster. Hopefully Shadow Knight, but... Hey, Willpower gets back the card you discarded. What was it? Ooh, Chainmaster during battle phase. What an effective turn. Dez, counter blow. It's going for the damage. Chainmaster is dead. Dez, counter blow said no. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's brutal. But it doesn't look like they... Oh, do you not have a monster? Is this summon skull? Oh, no, Titan, it's your last duel. This is your last chance, Titan. I know Tanya is way more consistent, but you've done amazing. Honestly, watching you get here has been a miracle run in itself. Are you willing to sacrifice your monsters in order to do a lot of... You're not. And you're not. This trap card has bought Titan plenty of time. Titan has turns now. There's the Shadow Knight. Sadly, Tiger will force you to attack it. So if you attack, you kill yourself. Tiger's effect forces you to attack it. That was a big misplay on your part. I would have set Shadow Knight. It's 1600 defense. Nah, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. The only reason to summon this is with the falling down. But you needed to set a monster in case they drew a fourth monster. A fourth monster would have won them the duel. Alright. They're still figuring out that you're forced to attack Tiger. And they end their turn. And Blowpiper's going to knock you down to 1,500. That's really, really bad. But one said you are. Yep. That's a shame. And Swordswoman can win him. That's it. Play everything in attack mode. Go all in. That's a lot of damage showing. That's 1,200, 4,200, 5,000 damage. They'll live with 700, but do it anyway. And 1,200 damage. And not willing to attack directly. Wow, that trap card has seriously saved you. Your opponent will not be willing to go in until they can win the duel, giving you enough time to get falling down or anything else you can possibly draw. Maybe even a tribute monster with a trap card that lets you summon from the graveyard. This is honestly a really, really, really good situation for you. Unless your opponent draws an R15 beater, then you lose. <laughs> Hell, another 800 beater would kill you. But they didn't draw anything, so you're in a good position. And Terror King lives, and they don't get to do anything. There we go. Swordswoman was the better option because if you don't attack to uh, if you don't plan to attack directly, it's weird that you don't attack with Tiger though. That was a misplay on my part and your part, because now they could just summon Summon Skull if they if they have the option. Summon Skull, yes, I know it can't beat you, but Axe of Despair, you never know. They top deck a spell card, falling down. Okay, they didn't draw anything. You got lucky. Still got to be a little more careful. Got to be a little more careful. Three. Yep, you're going to lose it. What, what card? What do you need to roll? Like a two and a five? Is that what it is? I and mean, we got time to look. Let's find out. Uh, if the result is two or five, they get the effect and destroy the opponent's monster. Nice. All right. You need a two or five. You did not get those. And now you're left open, but still not 45. You only have 3,800. You need 700 more damage and you win. Desru Archfiend says no, though. He plays it in attack mode. It would be a good play. There you go. 2,000 attack. If this monster attacks, it's not worth. All right. Great job with Desruk. Love it. Now you still have a chance at X of Despair or Falling Down. But you got to get lucky. Hell, even Archfiend's Oath might be worth at this point. No? Okay. Still in a bad position, I see. Two monsters, though. That that That's nice. That's always nice. If, if uh, they don't draw Paladin or something, two monsters is a good situation to be in. And a four, that's not a two or a five, so you get to keep Blowpiper, which means you get to keep your attack stat. And by the looks of things, you're in a better position than most. So here we go, Swordswoman's going to attack, hopefully it's not too tanky. Yep, perfect situation again. That means you still have a monster to tribute. Great situation. This trap card has bought them as much time as they need, and I love it. I love everything about it. Getting rid of Terror King is a safer play, but, to, well, you know... Let's see if they draw that Axe of Despair we've been waiting for. Even though Archers is right here, we remember them protecting this card. Falling down is still your best option. And two set cards. If they both have 1,500 defense, you're in a beautiful situation. Let's see what your opponent does. Paladin is probably what they're waiting on. If they can get Paladin, they're probably going to be willing to go in on you. 
right, let's see. I'm, I'm getting a little excited. Titan in game two of the bronze match is holding on because they do not want to lose. They're not going out without a fight. Attacking that monster first was interesting, depending on what Swordswoman attacks. If Swordswoman attacks. I always would, but... Does it have 15? They did it again! 1,500 defense! Terror King will not leave, and neither will Titan. Titan is holding on strong. The question is, will Titan be able to win the duel? All right. All right. Just a set card. And there we go. If it's another 15, it's going to be the funniest crap in the world. If it's anything less, you're dead. Well, not dead. You're fine. But, you know, you won't be happy. Two or a five? Can you roll a two or a five? That's a five. It's dead. Tiger's been weakened. That's the good news. Monster of Born brings back whatever the hell they want to bring back. Could bring back one of your monsters. Yeah, that soldier doesn't do anything wrong. It's got 1,900 attack. You can go for 2,000 attack, but you might have to pay. 1,900 attack, solid monster. You know, solid. Question is, are you willing to do a bunch of damage? All right, with another 1,900 beater, now that doesn't matter... Yeah, it doesn't matter what your defensive monster is. They finally cleared out your field. They were tired of this nonsense. And let's see what your other monster... It was a Dark Bishop anyway. Infernal Queen, that's a shame. Infernal Queen could have made a comeback for you. But they Monster Reborn on this turn. So they're willing to do 3,000 all of a sudden, or maybe just 15. Which will weaken that Tiger to a point that it's not as scary as it once was. Hmm. Oh, they're willing to go this far in. Okay, they're just tired of waiting. I believe Tanya is seriously tired of waiting. But that puts Tiger in a really bad spot at 15. And a lot of uh, this guy's... Car oh, that's why. They can win. With Amazonist willpower, they can win. Tanya is going for game. This is the game-winning attack, everybody. This is... Double Dez counter blow! Seven tools! <laughs> it didn't matter. <laughs> that... That is super funny. The winner of the Bronze Place match and the strongest Shadow Rider shall be Tanya. Bye-bye, everybody. It's time for the finals.